a lot of people believe that Tesla hasn't really made any Tesla semis yet, that the semi is just a, a vehicle that Tesla just made a few of them, sold them to Frito-Lay and Pepsi, and they were done with it. I mean, they're not very serious about the semi, but actually Tesla have made quite a lot of them. I'm surprised by the number. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you've had an amazing day. I think electric trucks are really good for the roads. I think non-electric trucks, as in gasoline, diesel, particularly powered trucks, are dangerous, particularly on freeways and highways, where they often will do 20 to 30 miles an hour up hills because they just don't have the power to go up those kinds of gradients. Electric trucks can do that easily. They can easily do 80 miles an hour up decent gradients, 6 7%. That's where the diesel trucks can cause accidents. You're stuck in that lane, you try to merge into another lane, you don't expect that the vehicle in front of you is going at one third of the pace that you're going and you smash into the back of it. It's happened, it's happened quite a lot. Anyway, the Tesla Semi, in my opinion, is awesome. However, what is really interesting is we've seen billions and billions of dollars committed to be invested into electric trucks in America in particular and in Europe, but more so in America. Over the last few months, all the biggest trucking companies in America have committed to electrifying, uh, to, in, to investing billions into electrifying their trucks. So they're taking this very, very seriously. They're not kind of looking at Tesla and saying, ah, oh, you know, that's not, that's a joke. It's not really serious. They're actually taking it very seriously. However, Tesla does have a pretty significant lead because it has a product out there with the kind of range that's um, what's needed. The Semi can do up to 500 miles of range and it's been tested in the real world and it actually really does that kind of range, which is quite a surprise. However, there is still the belief that Tesla is not taking the Semi seriously. They haven't made many, but apparently, actually the truth is the Semi fleet has grown to just over 100 vehicles. That was confirmed by Tesla VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi. Moravi and Tesla Design Chief both of them were recently featured in an interview on Jay Leno's Garage. And in that episode, they talked a lot about the Cybertruck. They talked about lots of exciting things, boat mode and, you know, lots of different cool things about the Cybertruck. But I think what most people didn't notice was what they said about the Semi. The company's Class 8 all-electric truck is obviously built at Tesla's factory in Nevada, Las Vegas. And that factory is big. It's big enough to build a lot of semis. That's where Tesla are actually expanding to build more of the semis. And they want to really take a big part of the semi market. It's been a year though, since Tesla actually held the semis launch event and the delivery event. Since then, they have been fairly conservative with the ramping up. I mean, just over a hundred vehicles in that space of time in uh, a bit less than 12 months. It's not really that many. However, Tesla has been working closely with Pepsi to ensure that the Semi is ready for mass production. So they've been testing it, making sure it works really well. And, you know, kind of basically Tesla has never built Semis before. So they're trying to make sure that they don't sell thousands of these and realize, oh, actually, we did this all wrong or we missed we, there's something we did wrong. We need to change this. So they're getting a lot of feedback from Pepsi's drivers. The original thought was that we were going to use the batteries that were in the back of the trailer to power the semi to get there. Then we made it so efficient, we didn't need to do that. Now the idea was to get the vehicles from the Fremont factory and Giga Nevada to obviously be able to have the kind of uh, range that they needed to drive from one factory to another. But because they made it so efficient, they didn't actually need to have a trailer with batteries in them. They said, but we have close to 100 semis in our fleet now, and more than 100 have been built, and they're doing that run. And we're working with Pepsi as well to just understand the durability and to get it right so we can get into volume production next year. So that's pretty much the main news here. Volume production for the semi is coming in 2024. How many are they going to make? Don't really know yet. The Tesla semi clearly is not yet mainstream. Whilst Class 8 trucks make up only 1% of vehicles in the United States, they actually contribute 20% of vehicle emissions, which is crazy. 1% of all vehicles are Class 8 semis, but 20% of emissions come from those trucks. So this is really an area where Tesla can have a huge impact. Now, what's even worse, guys, is the, the, the worst part about emissions is not necessarily just the exhaust gases themselves, but it's what is in them. 
Semi-class A trucks, they make up 36% of all US vehicle particulate emissions. The particulate emissions, they're what kill you. They're what cause cancer. They are what actually cause all the damage to your body. So the particulate emissions, 1% of all trucks on the road cause 36% of all particulate emissions. That comes from Tesserati, but also um, obviously various American sources. And this is an area where I don't think we're focusing on enough. So fortunately, I think Tesla has really driven some of these trucking companies, Packcar, uh, obviously Mercedes with their trucking division, Volvo as well, even BYD. They're all taking electric trucks very seriously. If we can remove 36% of particular emissions, then that's going to have a huge impact on general health outcomes for everyone. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.